Hey everyone, it's Michelle. In today's video, I will be sharing with you all how I change up my skincare routine for the coming season, in this case, summer to fall. Basically, I know when to do this by just simply listening to my skin. It is easily sensitized by its environment. So in this case, I've noticed that my skin feels more dry in the morning, especially to the touch, it's quite parched. There is no trace of moisture whatsoever. I noticed throughout the day as well, my skin becomes more parched, becomes more dry to the touch. And as a result, my skin looks less glowy, a little bit more dull. So this is a telltale sign for my skin in particular that I really need to amp up the moisture. If you couldn't tell already, my skin is on the drier side, especially during the colder months. I am also acne prone, as you could see by this little spot on my chin right here. I've been acne prone since my pubescent days, and it's only been in recent times that I've been able to truly understand the root cause of my acne and how to control it. Basically, this breakout is a sign that I've been pretty slack on my lifestyle, particularly with what I eat. That's a topic for a separate video. All you need to know right now is that I am indeed acne prone with normal to dry skin. I am also in my 30s and with that, I feel like my skin has become more sensitive as the years go on. With that said, let's get right into this video on how I change up my skincare routine for the fall season, starting off with the cleanser. Now in my morning skincare routine, I simply just splash my face with lukewarm to cool water. And at nighttime, that's when I would have an actual cleansing step with products. I would use the Bioderma micellar water to wipe my face, especially any water resistant sunscreen I was using. And then I would go in with a foaming cleanser. In the summer months, I can handle a foaming cleanser, something more lightweight. Come the colder season, I like to switch up my cleanser to something a little bit more nourishing, particularly a milky cleanser. The cleanser I used this past winter and have repurchased is the Eucerin Dermatoclean Hyaluron cleansing milk. This is a milky, lotion-y type of cleanser. It really does feel like I'm adding some type of moisture to my skin during my cleansing step. I remember a Korean dermatologist saying the first step to moisturizing is cleansing. As someone with drier skin, that line has always stuck to me, so I always make sure my cleanser really honors my skin's barrier its moisture levels, and it does not strip my skin in any way. The next product to switch up in my skincare routine is the moisturizer. So instead of using a gel cream, very lovely lightweight type of moisturizer like I did in my summer skincare routine, I need to go in with something with more body. If you haven't guessed already, I switch it back to the Bioderma Atroderm Intensive Balm. This has been the go-to moisturizer in my skincare routine for the past few years now. It's actually only been the past couple of years that in the summer months, I'm able to use something different. Otherwise, prior to the past couple of years, this has been my go-to moisturizer for all seasons. I just change up the amount that I would use. For the last change in my current skincare routine, it's not necessarily I switch the product entirely. I just end up rotating something else, in which case it is my sunscreen. In the summer months, I absolutely need a water resistant sunscreen. I also tend to reach for the European sunscreens, which have a higher UVA protection. Come the colder months when the UV index is not as intense, I'm not sweating as much and not needing to rely on a water resistant sunscreen. That's when I will go back to my beloved Asian sunscreens, the cosmetically elegant ones. The one I currently am using is the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun Rice Plus Probiotics SPF 50 Plus PA4 Plus. Just like the sunscreens I tend to reach for in the summer, I still stick with a sunscreen with an SPF of 50 plus. I always go for the highest protection possible, especially because I am someone that uses actives like tretinoin. So high sun protection is very important to me. With the Beauty of Joseon sunscreen, like I said, it has a lovely cosmetically elegant texture like almost all Asian sunscreens on the market. I really like the glow this gives my skin. I feel like there is a luminescent shine to my skin that I was lacking once the season switched and I wasn't changing up the products 
in my skincare routine. Since I'm not as out and about as I was in the summer months, I'm not sweating as much, my skin is a little bit drier, I can trust that a non-water resistant sunscreen such as this one will stay on my skin longer and if I do need to reapply, I can rely on this to be cosmetically elegant and not make my skin look super greasy. That's it for the main changes I do in my skincare routine with the must-have steps. So the cleansing, the moisturizing, and the sun protection. Now let's move on to what I add in my skincare routine come the change of season. The first thing I include in my skincare routine is some type of hydrator. It could be one item, it could be multiple items. It really just depends on my mood. The main point is that whatever I include in my skincare routine it has to be gentle especially because my skin has become more sensitive this past year. The first item I started adding in both my morning and evening skincare routine has been a thermal water spray. I've been using the Aven one. I'm not going to lie I really miss using a toner so for the upcoming Black Friday month, I may just buy one. I'm thinking of the Round Lab Doctor Toner. If you have tried it, let me know in the comments down below what you think. But basically, I'm missing some type of watery moisturizing step in my skincare routine. I've been using the Event Othermal Thermal Water Spray just as something to use as that type of step in my routine. But once this is done and Black Friday comes around, I'm definitely going to be purchasing a toner. The next type of skincare I've been including in my skincare routine as a hydrator step have been peptides. Now in the past when I was using the Ordinary Buffet Serum and the Buffet Plus Copper Peptides, that's when I really noticed what peptides do for my skin. And the main thing that the Buffet Serum has done was really brighten my skin and add moisture to my skin. Knowing how well my skin tolerated that peptide serum in the past, I thought why not go back to that type of product, especially when it comes to adding moisture to my skin in a gentle manner. One that I've had in my skincare collection but only recently started using more consistently is the Ordinary's Argeroline Solution 10%. I mainly use this as something to moisturize my skin. And if I experience that muscle relaxing capability, then that's a perk on top. On top of this one, just because this consistency is quite thin and not enough body for me, I did end up purchasing a different peptide. This is from Skin Cyclopedia. It's a brand that you can find at DM. It's their 10% Matrixel 3000 serum from my understanding out of all the peptides on the market separate from the copper peptides Matrixel 3000 is one to show the most likelihood of helping the skin produce collagen I'm not really relying on peptides to do that what I really like about them is how they add moisture to my skin in a gentle way so that's why I picked up this as well. My friend also likes the brand in general. That's how I heard about them. I've also heard combining an Argerline serum with a Matrixel 3000 serum is a great combination for anti-aging, well aging in general. These two peptide serums so far have been performing well in my skincare routine. I've been reaching for them almost daily for my morning skincare routine without any irritation whatsoever. What I've noticed, especially since incorporating the 10% Matrixel 3000 one, it's as if my skin looks like it had a really good drink of water. I noticed the smoothness of my skin, the glow, the plumpness, so I've been really enjoying the serum in particular. The Aven Thermal Water Spray and the two peptide serums are the main hydrators I have included into my skincare routine on a daily basis. One that I recently started to include more just for the sake of using it up is this mini right here, the Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I featured this in the skincare I brought with me to Greece. I'm really trying to finish this up because it's almost at the year point since I opened this essence and I just want to clear out my skincare collection in general. I've been mainly reaching for this essence when I do have an active breakout on my skin. So this pimple right here, when it was a little bit more inflamed, I would reach for this mainly as my hydrator step to use alongside benzoyl peroxide or tretinoin. And that's what I mainly like about this snail essence in general. 
I noticed how it's really good at soothing my skin while adding hydration. And I could see why that this is popular among those of us with more acne prone skin. That is it for how I change up my skincare routine for the fall season, the colder months. Use a milky cleanser, a heavier moisturizer, go a bit easier on my water resistant sunscreens, add in some hydrators. As always, I hope you find content like this helpful and informative. If you did, please be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel down below for future videos. Please leave a comment with any questions you have about the products I featured or any recommendations. I would love to read about those as well. That is it for this video. See you all soon. Ciao.